Hi drummers, hope you're well. Quick student request for you here. This is How to Play the Drum Beat from Valerie, the version by Mark Ronson featuring Amy Winehouse. It's that lovely driving, sort of euphoric, uh, up-tempo gospel feel. And it sounds like this. It's not just useful for that song, but for so much music with that sort of up-tempo, exciting, or gospel type of feel, man. Every time you need um par um par with that slightly swinging kick, it's just one of those classic grooves that, for my money, every drummer should have in their repertoire. We're playing quarter notes or crotchets on the hi-hat throughout a two-beat phrase. So hi-hat part, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Driving it all along, the snare drum hits two and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The kick goes. Now, so that's a kick on the one, that's a kick on the and of beat two, on the and of beat three, on the and of beat one in the second bar, and on beat three in the second bar. I'm going to build this up for you one kick at a time. And uh, you know, if you've been, if you're an experienced drummer, you probably hear that and just play it. That's great. If not, uh, maybe this is around the sort of grade three kind of level, something like that. Maybe three, yeah, I'd, I'd say three or four at the most. And what we would do there is just build it up bit by bit. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to play the full hand part, but we're going to add the snare drum. Uh, so we're going to add the snare drum. We're going to add the kick drum uh, one at a time. So two bar phrase. One, two, three, four. Here comes the first. that gives it a, a real lift I think is some of the time like in the verses particularly like the second verse perhaps just to give it a little lift I like to hit the hi-hat the hi-hat the tambourine I like to hit my tambourine on the four of the second bar just so I feel that gives it a little lift you can hit the tambourine with every snare I just feel like if you're going for that classic sort of uh, you know, upbeat soul, the gospel feel. Uh, there's always a tambourine, you know, not too far away. So I hope that's cool. That is Valerie. The one other thing to say about that is when you're working it out, if you're kind of relatively near the start of playing the drums and you find the coordination tricky, that's totally cool. As ever, that doesn't mean you're not going to be good at playing the drums. It just means you're near the start of learning. That's fine. Just do some practice. That's cool. The the thing that was most helpful for me, thinking back uh, to, to those days, was whether the kick drum is in sync with the hi-hat or whether the kick drum that you're trying is in between. So as you play one, two, and and four in that first bar, the first one on beat one, bang, is in sync with the hi-hat. 
The second two on the ands are in between the hi-hats. That kind of thing can really help. So in sync, between, 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 and then sync again at the end. One, two, and three, and four. One, and two, three, four. Hope that's all cool. That was an excellent request by my uh, lovely student, Rachel. And uh, yeah, looking forward to hearing that next week, or next week Rachel. And uh, yeah, man, any questions, give us a shout. Thanks as ever for watching. Please like and share and subscribe. All that good stuff. Thank you to all the legends who bought me a coffee. Massively appreciate it. I buy me a coffee. And I'll see you soon. Thanks so much.